right, you got dumb where I'm at. Teacher won't show her face in school inside school. For what? Why a teacher won't show her face? You know what I'm saying? Is it still the C word? I can't say it on YouTube. You know, YouTube, you know how I, how I get. What's up, shorty? Is it bring your kid to work day? Huh? Have you guys seen this? Hotty alert. Ex-boy band superstar turned award-winning actor Jack Boswell surprised long-term girlfriend. Oh, she looks familiar. Why does she look familiar? I can't really, you know what I'm saying? I can't really winning actor. I can't really put put a finger on it. Boswell surprised long-term girlfriend Victoria Sauls with a marriage proposal. As guests, the stylish Princeton grad was too smart to say no. Y'all supposed to be in class up here reading something about someone else's life. <laughs> Go to class! Princeton and have time to go out looking like that. Professional help, duh. Jack probably got her the best glam squad money could buy. How lucky are they? I would do her makeup for free any day of the week. <laughs> Hashtag goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take two boxes of thin mints. Uh, no, I'm just looking for- Oh, the candy bars. Oh, yeah, say I'm serving for a dollar, bro. E easy money, easy money. Everyone in the building will come up to you, bro. Easy money. I know where it is. Uh, go to the bowling alley, bro. So I'm at school. Except for a fundraiser. When it's time to do a fundraiser, no one participated. <laughs> but everything else, everything else. I'm gonna join us outside of school. Y'all participated. Three blocks that way. Bye bye. Oh, don't talk to strangers. And maybe you can find a hair salon along the way because your hair is giving off total. I just woke up energy. <laughs> so is yours. And you're a cheerleader. There's gonna be flopping all over the place. Have you seen the new teacher? For like a second, she said she'd be right back. She? Is she cute? She's okay, I guess. Uh, Chase, is she cuter than me? No. <laughs> oh my god, she's one of those. She's one of those. Oh my goodness. This again? Okay, I'll take a box of pecan sandies too. Oh, huh? it's pecan sandies. Sounds good, but Morning I don't like class. pecan. I'm your new calc teacher, Miss Summers. She has on a mask. Maybe she's trying to protect us. From what? Her face? <laughs> she heard that. Suspension. You Crystal Wayne. Yep. You must be familiar with my work. She's our head cheerleader. I'm more familiar with your GPA in this class. Ooh. Which puts you on my may not pass list. Ooh. You're not going to be a cheerleader. You don't got a good GPA. Ooh. You better shut up and be on your best behavior. Oh my gosh, Gracie, Little lady. my transfer, right? I couldn't even see you back there. Crystal, please switch places with her. Got it. I'll be down by the daycare center. Bye, everyone. You know, you have quite the talent for causing problems. Let's see if you know how to solve them. Ooh. What is the antiderivative of x to the n? All right, then I need someone to ask some crazy this, bro. You don't learn to use that in real life. To ask her what's... Yeah, it's a PENDAS problem. What's 9 divided by 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 minus 7? Something like that. Five x plus C? Sorry, no. Anyone else? Uh, x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. What was that, Gracie? x to the n plus Have it right on the board. I'm going to need you to speak up. Because right on the board! That was absolutely correct. Can you come to the board and show us how you got there? Oh, she's smart. Everyone start using her for homework now. What do you do? Want a step stool? You can step on Crystal's books. She doesn't seem to be using them. Ooh. I like this teacher. They got to take off the mouth. I see what you look like. You look beautiful. See? You got some beautiful eyes. Beautiful hair. Oh, super sorry about that. You're Gracie, right? I'm Chase. Nice work in that calc problem, by the way. Thanks, bro. I probably should have kept quiet. 
No way. You totally nailed it. Slow your roll, little Miss Train. <laughs> Find your own date, you know, coming. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, Crystal. No one's going to ask you, especially my boyfriend, because it'd be creepy and sad. Let's go. Why is the why, 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 why is it always like this? It's either the girlfriend is is nice and the boyfriend is bad, or the boyfriend is nice and the girlfriend is bad. Why can't it be both good? Darn our man! Hey there, how was it? Terrible. Something wrong with the way I did your hair? Yeah, everything. I miss the way mom used to do it. Hey! Sweetie, I know it's hard being in a new school now, but... What were you thinking? Skipping me ahead this many grades. I'm like the freak of the school. I'm never going to be able to make friends. Don't say that. It's only your first day. Just give it a little time, that's all. It won't yeah, she does look kind of young. She's like in high school. She probably feels like she's like 10. She like she's 10 years old in high school. You don't know that. Or 11. It was awful. Can't we just go back to homeschooling? Honey, we're way past that. You know that. Eyes on the prize, okay? You could be the youngest person ever to graduate from Stanford. Hey, yeah. no, hey don't do it. Don't, no, hey, don't put that type of pressure on her. I you love Stanford, but I just want to be a kid. Yep. I want to go to school with people, with people her age. age. Yep. And make friends her own around her own age. You know. Want to be normal. Yep. I, I I agree with her. That let her be a kid, bro. Let her be a kid. You got these fourteen year olds graduating from college, bro. Did you have time to be a kid going that studying? I know it's hard for you, baby, but. Ugh, can we please not talk about this right now? Sure, honey. You know that I only want the best for my bright, beautiful girl. You know that. I hope. I graded your tests. Who did your hair? A blind person? Stop, please. You may be a genius, but you have literally no clue. Your part's so crooked. I live at my dad's house, not a beauty salon. What am I supposed to do? Work to the wise. Gracie's hair, not your biggest concern. Ooh. Great, fine. Understood. Really? Is it? At this rate, you'll flunk right out of cheerleading. Ooh. Perfect score, plus the bonus question. Bravo, Gracie. Prioritize. Help save lives. Don't mind man. What's about? Plasma today. CSL Plasma. Do the amazing. Your child needs these okay. three key factors to get into an Ivy League or top 25. I shouldn't have to beg you. Ooh, I like this teacher, man. Crystal. She got some moxie Hi, on Hey, Mom. What's up? That's what I would like to know. Spoke That's my other doctor? You are this close to being put on academic probation. The new calculus teacher really has it in for me, but I'll get my grades up so I can stay on the squad. You better. Starting tonight. Smash the dishes. On, your laptop is for schoolwork only. Restricted phone. No social media. No hanging out with friends. No, moms don't play. I had a substitute teacher. He said that. He said it. Yeah, moms don't play. Because we wasn't doing that. We said, no, moms don't play. You better do your work or your mom's going to get you. No, moms don't play. No, moms don't play. She going to take your phone away. Lock you out the house. No, moms don't play. No, moms don't play. And no more cheerleading until you get your grades up. No, moms don't play. But it was only a warning. I'm squatting. No, moms don't play. You can't pull me off. I already did. I called the school. You get your grades up and then we can discuss it. This is clearly an emergency. Consider it a triage. Huh? You're totally the moms don't play. Your mom don't I play. I don't think so. But if you care to also lose your driving privileges, I'll take the keys uh -oh. to your Porsche and you can take the bus. No, moms don't play. No, you don't need to the do moms that. don't play. They take your phone away. Lock you out the house. No, moms don't I play. Better we'll do see. your work or your mama's going to get you. I'll be in my room studying. Crying. One more thing. After school tomorrow, instead of cheer, you'll go to the library. Bro, I want to know that one I'm day, bro. Sad. I still remember it, bro. It was like, like five, six years ago. You better do your work or your mama's going to get you. No moms don't play. No moms don't play. Last semester. <laughs> you're going to take your phone away. Lock you out the house. Do you have any idea how selective pre-med programs are? <laughs> I don't want to see you give up on your dreams. Someday you'll thank me. <laughs> there was a time when I wanted to be a doctor, but dreams changed. They're going to lock you out the house for not doing your Mine work. Did. We 
are not doing this with the oh major stuff again. That's not a real dream. It's me. <laughs> Why can't we ever talk about it? <laughs> because I don't have the strength. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. And the same girl from Yudi, bro? Man, we just watch her on Yudi? Her name was Tamina. Oh my goodness, that was a laugh. That was like a funny memory, bro. Crazy. That just brought back a funny memory. Crazy. My bad. All right, teens. Let's do this. She's not a teen. She's like a 10 year old. We're playing dodgeball? a dangerous place. Bro, this is a bad look on you. Why is you bullying a 10-year-old? You're like Vicky, bro. I'm afraid our parents, she's like Timmy. The hell? She's at 2 no and 2. This can't be happening. Uh, hi, Crystal. Should we get started? Here? In public? Uh, is there some place that she'd rather do this? For sure. But since it takes too long to get to Siberia, let's go over there. Someone's recording. Someone's recording. Well, what do you think of we spend some of your hard earned Twitter money, huh? Just kidding, baby. Whatever you want, it's on me, okay? So tell me, how did it go in your first tutoring session? Pretty torturous. But uh, what are we even doing here? Well, I'm not very experienced in all this, but I believe you have to try a bunch of stuff. I'll tell you how great you look. And if there is one that you really dislike, that'll be my favorite one. Huh? <laughs> oh, he's really well, joking. <laughs> I mean, what high school boy is really going to ask me to homecoming? Well, you're not in high school. You're, you're 10 years old. I hope. And if there is one, you You're 10 years old! So me, the principal, and the police, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, you don't sorry. need no... You don't need to go no dance with no boy. You're 10. Anyway, look, honey. You don't need a date to go to the dance. Facts! You go with your friends. Facts! Like I did. Facts! I don't have any friends. Well, you can go by yourself well, and make you friends there. What about people? The guy from my physics camp? Mm -hmm. He lives in Norway. Why can't you just come with me? I would love to, but you know that I work that day. I can't. And call it off. Maybe. I know this whole thing has been a, an odd experience, to say the least, okay? But I really want you to enjoy high school. As a brainiac tween girl? I don't really see now she's that. a tween, so she's 12. She all right, 12. She's 12. She's still not supposed to be in high school. She's 12. Come on. She's supposed to be in middle school. You like this one? Uh, it's fire, but I don't think they are my size on this. Well, why don't I ask? I'll be right back. Uh, Dad, you don't really no. Uh. He's gonna find out the price, huh? He don't know the price. I can't get away from her. It's like she's stalking me. You're stalking her. You ran up on her. And plus, she might be the one who gets your pom poms back. Her dad buys her clothes. That explains a lot. She's twelve. What the? What tell you know? You know, buy their own clothes. See what I mean? This eyeshadow and foundation with your skin tone is the perfect color combo. I, I don't know, Crystal. It's a little out there. I mean, I don't want to look like I'm in some 80s music video. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> Pardon me. I just want to say how much I adore your makeup. Thank you. Uh, we're hiring part-time, so if you are looking for anything... Oh, her mom doesn't let her work. Seriously? <laughs> well, it's let her tell her that. Let her tell her that. You don't have to say anything. Call me. Thanks. I'll hang on to this. Yeah, sure. Still gonna question me? Never again. A pink square. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
What? No, uh, it's nothing. I got it too. Dude, so why is she? Hey, she is she is ten. She is ten. I'm gonna make that little brat pay for this if it's the last thing I ever do. Gracie didn't post this. Yeah, it was that burnout, Quincy. I don't care. She's a freak. I look like crap, and she's gonna regret the day she ever set foot into Bookside High. The bullying a ten year old is crazy. It's crazy. Oh no 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 no! She's turned. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to watch. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I thought she was gonna. I thought something was gonna pop out of her locker, and she was gonna get all wet or whatnot, or, or muddy or whatnot, or dirty. You're so mean. Yeah. Oh, please. Not cool, Chris. What's wrong with you? Yeah, what's wrong with you? Up. You lighting up? We're lighting down. What is it? Made that ten year old girl cry. What's wrong with you? Sorry, honey. Were you asleep already? I'm awake. Great, because I've got some great news for you. I got you an interview with the Stanford next week. She's ten years okay. old, bro. Um, that's great, Dad. Thank Her what, okay. bro? You're ten. Were you crying, honey? Mm, no. I'm just tired, that's all. Can we please talk about this in the morning? Sure thing, baby. Good night. Good night. Grace got an F? That's... She didn't take the test. Bizarre. Mind your business, please. And keep up the good work. Got 77. Luka Doncic, 77. Class, has anyone seen Gracie today? Um, uh, I have. Right before class. I saw her in the bathroom by the library. Oh, she's skipping. Excuse me for a moment. I'll be right back. She just can do that? It's Miss Summers. Gracie, is that you? Gracie, what's wrong? Everything. Can you be a little more specific? It's just too hard. What is, dear? Being a stupid genius. I never wanted it to be like this. My dad is so obsessed with me being the youngest to graduate Stanford. And he had me skip ahead all the way to 12th grade. Oh, that's even worse. I thought you were in ninth grade. He got you in a 10-year-old in 12th grade? And now I'm getting bullied. I never wanted it to be like this. I just want to be a regular kid again. And she deserves that, bro. She deserves it because you, okay, you, you, you're selfish. You, you're saying you put your uh, expectation on your kid. This what leads to depression, bro. Parental expectations. That's just it. You're not a regular kid. What you have is so special. You should never see it as negative. Not you saying see it as negative, no, but she's just to be a regular, regular kid. She's 10. Other people do. Intelligence like yours is something to be proud of. You don't understand, Miss Summers. Nobody does. You can still be proud and still be a kid at the same time, you know? I do understand. I swear to you. How could you, though? It's okay. I'm not even that smart. What do you mean? I think on our last test, I totally flunked it. I should probably just go back to middle school. So you're too. In this test, right? See, I told you, I got a zero. You did. You got every answer wrong. I thought that was strange. Looking like me. But when I looked at it more closely, I noticed something even stranger. What? On every problem, you did all of the work correctly, came to the correct solutions. And what's the problem? And then you just wrote something completely different as the answers. It's almost as if you wanted to get a zero. But you know what? The only thing you failed at 
was failure. Mom and Dad get a huh? Don't you have a man event? I know you go, you, you, you go there. Huh? You get a hundred for doing all your work correct. Kind of ironic, huh? Gracie, can you please come back to class? I have an important announcement I'd like to make, and I'd like for you to hear it. If after you decide to go back to middle school, I will talk to your dad and I'll try to sell him on the idea. Of what? Does that sound like a plan? That sounds like a plan. Yeah, talk to her dad. It's up to you. I'm gonna say it's, 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 like, it's, it's a lot of weight for a 10 year old. Hey, you let me, you let, let 10 year olds make grown up decisions now? Hey, 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 what I have to say anyway. But I'd love for you to hear it. What you gotta say? I know there's been some curiosity about why I'm wearing a mask. Yes. I'm gonna answer that. You're beautiful. I've heard a few rather wild. You're theory. beautiful. From what are you saying? One of them being that my face was scarred from an acid throwing attack. I was just joking. But it wasn't funny. Sorry. But I mean, something must be wrong. With oh, it's those eyes. Yep, those eyes. It's those eyes. She's she's beautiful. It wasn't funny. Sorry. But I mean, something must be wrong with your face if you, you know. Well, you can all see for yourselves. Who's that? It can't be. There's just no way. You're Victoria Solace? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's really me. I did it because I didn't want you guys treating me differently just because I'm married to a celebrity. I even used the made-up name. Wait, so Miss Summers, I mean, Miss Solace, you're like 18 years old. How are you already a full teacher? Because she's amazingly smart and already graduated from Princeton. Uh, remember? I know everything about you. I'm your total biggest fan. Not anymore. You blew it. <laughs> you blew it! Uh, and now you're gonna start to glaze. Let the glaze begin. That's not how I remember yep. it. Yeah, let the glaze begin. Let me give you a refresher. You see, Crystal and I were in second grade together. I was the weirdo, the IQ freak, the class nerd, and Crystal and her friends wouldn't stop teasing me. So you see, I didn't want to spend my time with kids like that. That's why I spent my time on my talent and studied hard. I skipped grades, but I was still bullied. The more I advanced, the worse it got. So I wished I wasn't smart. I pretended not to be. Thankfully, because- No, I that's a blame. You're smart. Go ahead, use your brain. Go show off your brain. You still have to be a kid at the same time, you know? Parents- Or else you'd be like a robot. Teachers. I embraced my talents. I enrolled in Princeton. I met another genius, a musical genius. They gonna have like five little fire was being sassy when like all they hang around is adults, bro. Jack Boswell. Whoop de doo! And now he's my fiance. So you really do understand. That's right. And if it's okay, I'd like to give you the kind of support that I eventually got. What's that? Uh, so if you're like this next level brainiac, why are you a teacher? No offense, but isn't this like a super low paying job? That's a fair question. Some people aren't motivated by money. I guess I'm just one of those people. My father wanted me to be a rocket scientist at like NASA. But the most important thing I've ever learned is that if you spend your life trying to live someone else's dream, you'll never be happy, which is what we all deserve. Thanks. That's why you hear me yelling at the dad. Why you want her to want her to go to Stanford? Mom, what are you doing here? You're off the chair, team. Talking to your principal about your options. You're the... going to uh, where are you going to? What's that school? Not boarding school. Uh, 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 uh detention school. Pre med programs I've looked into. I'm not gonna be a doctor. I don't. I don't want that, mom. 
Oh, now you take her advice. You can and you will be. I've been telling you for years that I don't want this and you never listen to me. So I'm the bad guy because I don't want you wasting your life trying to have a career in makeup? It's not wasting my life if I'm following my dreams. I'm really sorry, Mom, but I'm done living your dream. It's time that I live my own or at least try to. I respect you for that. You still, hey, you still bullied a 10 year old. <laughs> and you still didn't even apologize to her. And you didn't apologize to her. You're 18 years old bullying a 10 year old. That's crazy. Hey, I know that couldn't have been easy, but I'm really proud of you. Thanks. She's just lurking in the corner, spying hey, on everyone. You see what's important. I'm. So so sorry for how I treated you. No, hey, 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 someone else need an apology too. You were little. I think I finally know why I acted that way. Jealousy. For my mom, all that mattered was perfect grades and academic awards. I mean, she wanted me signed up for med school before I joined brownies. I'm not dumb. But I'm not like you and Gracie, which is what she wanted me to be. But that's not an excuse. I was mean. I'm sorry. I've spoken to your mom. Bro, you know, someone else needs an apology too. You bullying an 18 years old, bullying a 10 year old. She's quite. I guess you're not supposed to be in your school. We're not supposed to be in your school or whatnot, but you still don't bully. Not a reason to bully her, and all your classmates seem to like her. And your little boyfriend like back there too. Tough lady. Tell me about it. I have my own talent hair, makeup, styling. I mean,. They may not be the ones that she wants for me, but they're mine. And I want to pursue them. I know I don't deserve a chance, especially from you, but I have to ask. If you have an event that's not too important, maybe I can be your glam squad and take pictures from my portfolio. It'd really help me. I could be open to that. If you, you do something for me first. Apologize to Gracie. Mentor someone. Really? Who would want me as their mentor? You've seen my grades. That's not the kind of mentorship I was talking about. Oh, what are you doing? Um, Apologize. Cleaning up the mess I made. Sorry I was mean to you. There you go. Especially after you helped me pass that calc test. That's why I want to make up to you. Make it up to me? By giving you a makeover. I know you don't live in a beauty salon, but maybe I can be your personal hairstylist? I'd like that. You look so pretty. <laughs> Thanks. Gracie, come here. You look so good. You look awesome. Both of you. <laughs> Great job, Chris. No need to lay it on thick. I'll dance with you. <laughs> <clears throat> May I have this dance, senorita? What are you doing? Okay. Cutting a rug with my absolutely gorgeous daughter. Cutting a what? <laughs> Never mind. This is extremely silly. Ooh, wait until it's time to hit Macarena. Then we're really gonna get silly. Oh. <laughs> you know what? This could be a rare opportunity. Middle schools don't do homecoming. What do you mean? That's right. What kind of middle school is this? I thought about it. And you're definitely in control of your own timeline. I shouldn't be pressuring you so much. Yeah. So yeah, put all that pressure on the 10 year old. If you want to hit the pause button in high school, stand for early admissions, counseling, and all that, it's all good. I know that was my dream. But and who wants to? Hey, how you know she want to go to Stafford anyway? Thanks, Dad. But actually, I'm good. I want to keep moving forward. Really? Yeah, and I even checked out the Stanford website, and it's even cooler than what you said. Oh my God, has anyone ever told you that you're rather a smart kid? It's been mentioned. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? How'd I get so lucky? Let's dance. <laughs> I love this. Oh. Is your day? 